Like, how do you know when you said there's some people good at articulating what perfect looks like, what a good design is? Like, mm -hmm. if you're sitting in a in a room and uh, you have a set of ideas about like how to design uh, a better processor, how do you know this is this is something special here? This is a good idea. Let's try this. So have you ever brainstormed idea with a couple of people that were really smart? And you kind of go into it and you, you, you don't quite understand it and you're working on it. And then you start, you know, talking about it, putting it on the whiteboard, maybe it takes days or weeks. And then your brain starts to kind of synchronize. It's really weird. <laughs> With, and yeah. Like you start to see what each other is thinking. And, yeah. and it starts to work. Like you can see it work. Like my talent in computer design is I can, I can see how computers work in my head like really well. And I know other people can do that too. And when you're working with people that can do that, like it, it is kind of a, an amazing experience. And then, and every once in a while you, you get to that place and then you find the flaw and it was just kind of funny because you, you can, you can fool yourself. And, but the two of you kind of drifted along yeah, yeah. Uh, into you a direction that was useless. <laughs> yeah. That happens too. Like you have to, cause you know, the, it, well, the nice thing about computer design is always reduction to practice. Like you come up yeah. with your good ideas, and I know some architects who really love ideas, and then they work on them and they put it on the shelf. They go work on the next idea and put it on the shelf. They never reduce it to practice, so they find out what's good and bad. Because almost every time I've done something really new, by the time it's done, like the good parts are good, but I know all the flaws. Like 